Tilo, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. By the time you see this, we won't be, so just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Remember, if we go live and you miss it, you can go to twitch.com. Type in this username at the bottom of the screen. You can catch the previous and the upcoming lives. Don't forget, we do got Patreon and we do got um, merch as well, man. This is London's most dangerous street gangs. Y'all see the warning behind me, YouTube? Please see it. It's by UK Drill Plugs. Leave me a like, leave me a comment, and here you go. Copyright, copyright disclaimer under, under section 107 of the, of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. True. I was just seeing somebody in the chat that I might have to block talking about some of you like cupcakes. You like blockage? What the hell? Pause. Let's get into it. From the outside in, London looks like a rich city with many different tourist attractions like the Buckingham Palace, the Tower of London, and the Shard, to name a few, resulting in London being one of the most popular destinations for tourism. What a lot of people don't know about are the large street gangs that control the drug trade now in the with a lot of these gangs being responsible for postcode murders, kidnappings, and tit-for-tat incidents happening between opposition gangs. The large gang presence in each borough results in London being named as one of the most dangerous cities in the world due to its high crime rate. In this video, I'm going to highlight some of London's most dangerous gangs. These gangs control the local drug trade and handle rivalries with many opposition gangs throughout London. Molly Strip are a large street gang based around Leighton. Molly Strip. You gotta got Molly Strip in every London gang video. All of them. They're there. Which is based within the Waltham Forest Borough of East London. The gang is split into up, two almost. different sets, one being named El Tizzy and the other being named SJ. El Tizzy controls the E10 postcode and SJ controls the E17 postcode. The olders of Mali Strip are predominantly Somali, but the younger generation of Mali Strip are a wide range of ethnicities. Mali Strip don't focus on local postcode rivalries much, but instead the local drug trade. With it being said, Mali Strip make up to 50,000 pounds a week from drugs. Although Mali Strip are more focused on making money, they still have beef with surrounding gangs like Priory Court, LGR, and Ching Hall over drugs. These rivalries have gotten very deadly, with it confirmed Molly Strip are responsible for over five deaths linked to the beefs. Molly Strip has been named London's most dangerous gang by the- Who's free in Molly Strip? Like, ain't they all locked up? Like, on the rapping side? Like, all the rappers from Molly Strip is locked up except maybe one, I think. The media, making them a feared gang in the borough wrong. and in surrounding boroughs due to their violent reputation. Molly Strip have many different rappers, like Ronda Montana, Ridla, and Baby Maine. These rappers are very like active that? in the drill scene, with their songs going viral on YouTube, getting millions of views. Peckham Boys are one of the largest and oldest gangs in Southeast London. The Peckham Boys are based on multiple estates within the SE15 postcode. With the oldest generation- I don't think they got nobody free of Peckham boys going back to the 1970s, with them controlling a lot of the drug market in southeast London. They have had major beef with surrounding gangs resulting in stabbings and shootings playing out in the streets. With the rivalry between Peckham boys and the Ghetto Boys being the longest running rivalry in the late 1990s, people would even start referring to Peckham as Pecknarm. This was a slang term combining the word Vietnam and Peckham due to its high- Wow. Oh. Ghetto Boys? I ain't never even heard of them, have we? Have we heard of them? High crime rate and gang violence statistics. During the mid 2000s, the Peckham Boys would become better known as Black Gang due to them repping the color black. A few years later, in 2013, ah. they would splinter off and create a new set under Peckham Boys named 365, which would be better known as Zone 2, which has been. Got it. 
Now we're getting familiar. Zone two, gotcha. Popularized by the UK drill scene in recent years. Peckham gotcha. Boys has had a dangerous feud with Moscow 17 and other sets in the surrounding area. Nevertheless, they still locked up. Mm -hmm. Area, with many people being killed as a result. One of the most famous rivalries was between Peckham and Brixton, which has been labeled the most infamous rivalry in London. With the first instances of Peckham Boys making music during this time, with gigs dropping classic UK grime tracks, like Talking the Hardest and Look What the Cat Dragged In, these songs would rake in millions of views and streams. Giggs is out. Giggs is a free man. Peckham Boys has brought up many different rappers rapping under the Peckham Boys and Zone 2 names such as... No, let's not forget, like, shout out to Giggs' pedigree in the, in the streets. A real street dude. Salute. I salute that. Giggs, Quangface, Karma, Trizak, and Snap Capone. There's another young... Queen face locked up. Karma is Karma not locked up? Karma might be free. Trizak, I can't even call it. Snap Capone is. Free. I like Snap Capone, but we ain't heard a lot of music from him lately. Younger set allied with Zone 2 called YPB or Younger Peckham Boys, which also reps the SE15 postcode. Wood Green Mob is a Wood large Green. street gang based around the N22 postcode in Haringey, North London. Wood Green Mob has had major beef with surrounding gangs in North London. In the early 2000s, Wood Green Mob would have a dangerous conflict with the Hackney Boys, which was a deadly rivalry known to police. However, the See, but this is like me. Like, I could watch a million of these and still feel like I don't know nothing because I really don't in dive into what y'all got going on in the streets out there because it ain't none of my business at the end of the day. Y'all street politics is none of my business. But you know, RIP to all the fallen and stay dangerous. I mean, stay safe current generation of Wood Green pretty much have beef all over North London. They have rivalry with NPK, OFB, N15, TPL DC8, Hornsey, Hoxton, and a few other gangs. Wood Green has been known as one of, if not the most dangerous street gang in London, with more than 10 members currently facing life sentences for kidnap, murder, torture, and other incidents within the streets. Wood Green also have a big presence within the local drug market. A lot of their beef has been a result of the local drug trade. Wood Green isn't as active in the music scene, although they still do have rappers, including Dill OJ, Crash 22, and Rids. Wood Green has many oh. famous members like Steeler, who is notorious for using an axe against his ops and organizing the killings of members of rival gangs. Another notorious Wood Green member was Lamps. He was well known in the streets and was feared by many of his ops. He allegedly would apply pressure to all of his ops constantly. Sadly, this street life would catch up to Lamps and he would be shot dead outside View Cinema in Wood Green. The murder goes Well, Lamps was a gangster. He was a killer. He knew what, he, he knew what that life led to. And as you just said it, he was a he was a relentless one. You know what I'm saying? Unsolved up until this day, with no one being arrested in connection. Rest in peace, Lamps. Sirac are a small street gang based on the Moorlands Estate in Southwest London, SW9. Sirac was formed by younger members of an older gang. Sirac, it's not an alcohol. It's, it ain't it Sirac. I always call it Cyrac because it sounds like Chirac, but you know. Known as Murder Zone. Sirac had a close alliance with Angel Town. However, in the last few years, the alliance would split and the two sides would start to actively beef. Due to the split and gas gang, which Angel Town was a part of, Angel Town nowadays is referred to as Popular Group 150. After the split and gas gang, Sirac would start being referred to as 727. 727 represents the word rack when typed onto a trap phone. Sirac has very few allies with them being surrounded by over. 10 rival gangs, however they are still able to hold their own. In 2023, the beef between 150 and Sirac would become very active with a 150 member named Skeng Roy being stabbed to death and a Sirac affiliate being stabbed to death only weeks later as an act of retaliation. This just shows how dangerous Sirac is. Their main ops are 150, 410, 67, LTH and Gypsy Hill to name a few. They also only have one ally, that being Harlem Spartans. Sirac has been labeled a very ruthless gang by the media due to multiple murders and shootings being linked to the Sirac gang. Sirac also have a few rappers, that being SR, HK, Doubleback, and Trap SG. Sirac's most notable member is SR. He would go viral in 2021 after dropping Welcome to Brixton, which has amassed over 70 million views. If you want
to see a video on Sorak in the future, let me know in the comments below. Helbanians are a notorious street gang based on the gas. Oh my God, I was muted. How long was I muted? Anyway, what I was saying about uh, the Cyrac, I play that song. I said maybe not once a week, it, uh, not one, I mean maybe not once a day because that'd be cap. Um, maybe like I probably play that song like once a week. I like how it starts. It's a good song, man. And then I was going to say the Helbanians, I wouldn't even put them in the same category as gangsterism as the rest of these. They're more organized. They're way more organized. They're, like, they're more sophisticated, I feel. Coin estate embarking within the IG-11 postcode. The members of Helbanians are predominantly Albanian, with them being the largest and most well-known Albanian gang in London. The Helbanians are well known for being the biggest distributors of coke throughout England. It's estimated they make up to five billion pounds from the cocaine trade throughout all of the United Kingdom, with them being labeled the kings of coke within England. See what I'm saying? Like that ain't even on the same level of money as any of the people that you've named. The Helbanians use different methods of violence like murder and torture. The Helbanians don't really rap much, but have a few rappers like Vince, Stealth, and Vision. The songs these members make rack up millions of views with some songs hitting over 10 million views. Helbanians also post on Instagram showing off money and guns, and often have expensive cars and clothes in their music videos. This makes them a very feared gang in London, with some residents of the estate that the gang is based on being scared, stating that they live in fear due to the gang presence, their large gang presence and choke on the drug market definitely makes them one of the most dangerous gangs in london absolutely plus they got money you know what i'm saying and these in those in those situations when you on the, it's about money if you got money you could do anything allegedly Manor Park is a small street gang based on the Little Ilford estate within the E12 postcode in East London. They have built a reputation as a ruthless and dangerous gang in the area. They have a deadly beef with nearby Drillford. I have a video explaining the beef between these two gangs. The link to that video will be in the description. They also beef 6th better known as ACG, with the beef between these two gangs getting heated over the years, with a 6th member named Lil Jumbo being killed by Manor Park as an act of mistaken identity. This Lil Jumbo is tough. This would cause the beef between 6th and Manor Park to get more active. Manor Park has been a largely Somali-based gang, but in recent years they have members of all ethnicities. The Manor Park gang are responsible for a lot of the drug trade around Ilford. I can't lie to you, I never heard of them. I, I never heard of them. And other but I'm not supposed to have heard of them. I'm an American. <laughs> But I've never heard of them still. Areas in East London. They have also gained a reputation for being very dangerous. Recently, Manor Park was in the news for the double murder of Zach and Giddy in a trap house. Manor Park is allegedly also responsible for more deaths in the area, some even being unsolved till this day. Manor Park have a few rappers, those being M12, Farmer 12, and Recky. However, they don't rap much, being never heard of them very inconsistent in music, with Recky being charged with the double murder of Giddy and Zach whilst being on the run, and Farmer 12 currently riding 23 years for a murder he committed in- <laughs> Broke off them inconsistent. Whole time they locked up 20 plus years and on the run. Of course they inconsistent. They are jammed up. 2019. One of the things all these gangs have in common is that they have young men that have a lot of potential to make legal careers instead of this road life. This video also marks the fact that this road life you see certain people living is not worth it. With everyone involved, it's never worth it. Losing friends to the crime or prison. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to It was solid. It was very informative. And you know, it really warned me on the the dangers of London. Thank you for the information and I've learned a lot. YouTube, I've learned a lot, and I hope anybody else visiting learned a lot, too. Tell them, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and go.